Hello guys and welcome back to Yorkiverse. I'm Yorkie and today we're continuing the Vault series. I know we've had a little bit of a pause but we're back and we're ready to go. Uh, sort of, in the sense that I'm ready to go. I don't know if my machines are ready to go. But I've been mining, I've got some ores, bloody hell was it a nightmare. And I've kind of been making a, a series of machines but due to a server update um, some of my progress was removed and so I decided not to upload those, uh, upload those episodes. But now the server's kind of a stable sort of release, I suppose you could say. Um, I've, I've decided to continue recording again. Plus the SB cast um, was in the process of recording some Uncle Gerald and, and, and other stuff like that. Series I don't take part in. Then I've had nothing really to record uh, other than Daisy and Seven Days to Die. But we're back, and I'm happy we're back, because I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I've been shouting at Emil saying, get that server working, so I want to I want to get some record, uh, vaults done, people are asking about vaults, Here is it. and uh, yeah, so there we go. But we're back now, and I'm in the process of making a nuclear reactor, and that's where we left off, I was uh, making the nuclear reactor, and I'm sure you're happy to know that I've actually been in the production of uranium and I've got myself one of each type of uh, fuel rod. I can't remember exactly which one it is but I think it's the enriched fuel rod which is placed into the reactor and we're going to use that to generate us lots of energy. As you can also see I've also moved things about. I've uh, kind of cleared out this room a little bit, it's nothing but a chest now and this is where my nuclear reactor is going to be. Um, and I've moved all machines upstairs and I've also been planning where I've wanted stuff uh, around the factory. Um, I, I can't remember if you've seen that but I, I definitely remember doing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just need the bronze ingots now and that's why what I've got going on here. I'm using the um, enrichment chamber to turn ingots into dust. Uh, and then I'm using uh, the dust, uh, the electric furnace to smelt the ingots uh, into bronze. And then the metal occurred confuser is fused with tin, which is this little bar here. Uh, you fill it there with tin and it'll fill this bar. And uh, yeah, it mixes the two together and then we get bronze. Uh, but it takes four plates for. Um, for a reactor and it takes four bronze for each plate so it's it's getting pretty pricey um, but it seems that we're covering the cost so far and we've got three of the nine turbines that we need to get started uh, we also need to make the actual reactor itself um, so reactor and it's this little bad boy here we need two advanced circuits, four steel plates, and two motors. I think we can actually make that now. Um, if I go downstairs, like I said, um, I've I've emptied out my inventory down here, just because I went mining. Um, so we needed a fuel rod as well and advanced circuits. What else? Uh, motors. Got motors. So we just need to get some more steel from upstairs. Awesome. So, so we make it. So, you know, we've already got the reactor part of our um, reactor. The reactor part of our reactor is secured. Oh, come with me. Uh, so that's, that's half the work already done. Sort of. <laughs> I always keep saying sort of. Um, see, the problem is we've got two different types of steel, uh, so they're not gonna merge willingly. Okay, that's that's not making any more because I've actually noticed I've reached the max there. Um, that there, then the two advanced circuits, the fuel rod and the motors. Oh, nice, first time. So we've already got the first two parts of our reactor and I'll pop these downstairs because I'm planning to make this my uranium fuel set fuel rod chest, but at the minute it's it's kind of a kind of a dump crap here chest. Um, okay, so we're just waiting on the bronze, really. That's 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 kind of what's slowing us down here. Um, but we are going to need um, how many more? We're going to need. Um, so that's enough for another. So that takes us up to four, four reactor turbines. We need five more, 
That means we need four plating each. So that's 20. 20 times 4 is... My god, everyone's stupid. 80. We need 80 more bronze to do this. Sorry, I went a bit stupid there. Um, but it happens. And that is definitely not 80. Um, but I have got more. I have got more of that copper. Got 32 more. This might be all my copper for this. But if we can get this done, then it's done. So that's 55. So that might might be, might be enough. I don't know if my math was right there. I hope it wasn't because I just want to get this done. Uh, so while I wait for this to do, um, we'll take a little break. Hello guys and welcome back. I'm finally, finally about to get all of the bronze plating. So as you can see, I've bled it out here. So we can see one, two, three, four. And that's the fifth there. Uh, and this is the last piece we're waiting on. Yes, there we go. So after about an hour, I'd say about an hour, maybe less, maybe about 45 minutes, I have um, been mining, been uh, waiting for power to charge up and stuff like that. It's been a bit of a nightmare, I'm not going to lie. Bit of a nightmare. But we finally have the five, ooh, let's pick those up. Um, we have the five extra turbines we were waiting for. And that technically means that we've got everything we need to um, get started, really. Um, to have the nuclear reactor going, except one thing. And it's kind of a major thing, because I don't know where I'm going to find it. We need to find slime balls. Now, I don't really know where I'm going to get them, as I said. But I think you can use as an alternative. Somebody said to me it was rubber wood. Or, or, or it's rubber something. Rubber, raw rubber maybe. Don't know. Maybe that was tech it. I don't know. I don't. Maybe that will work. I don't know. Uh, but um, sticky piston is what we need. All right. Oh, so you can use raw rubber, and you get raw rubber from trees. I want to say tree. Cat. No. Oh. Uh, tap. I wonder how you uh, get wood. Uh, how you get, if you, how you extract? Maybe you just chop it down. I think I've seen a um, a rubber tree around about my house. I think it's around the back. Let's just have a quick cycle through the stuff and see if we can. No, I can't see anything there. Uh, so let me just get my axe. Axe, the axe of power. Getting a lot of levels now, but I'm not really sure what to do with them. Uh, let me just sleep because we always want power to be coming in. No sun means no power, means no machinery, means no good. Okay, thanks to the new biomes, uh, we should have a rubber tree. Um, let me just pop down here. Oh, I think this is it here. Uh, let's try it. Um, let's see, raw rubber, awesome, we can use that to make our pistons. So, now, uh, something I made off camera just while I was bored and uh, didn't have anything to do, probably should have recorded myself making it, is a control rod. Now what a control rod is, is uh, obviously um, the reactor is going to get pretty hot. What a control rod does is it slows down the spinning of the turbines. Uh, to a point where um, it's safe to um, continue, you know, creating power. Because if it gets too hot or, you know, creates too much power, then it can become um, explosive. <laughs> and I don't really feel like playing mop up right now, uh, so that's why I made the control rod. Uh, so we need wood and we need stone. We've got plenty of stone. We just need to get wood and we also need iron and redstone and that is it can I use this rubber wood as wood? you can sorted uh, so let's go back to the crafting table I'm getting a little bit hungry as well I'll have to uh, work on mine a bit uh, so that there then um, what else am I looking for? stone like this 
Um, that there and that there. Awesome, so that's a piston. If we add the sticky resin to the piston, then we get a sticky piston. And what this will do is it'll allow me to push in and out um, the, um, the control rod to slow and speed it up. So now we've got everything we need. So I think we should start beginning making our nuclear reactor. Okay guys, welcome back. Sorry about that. I just uh, I, I when it came to thinking about the plan, I uh, remembered that I didn't I needed room for my electric cabling. <laughs> so yeah. It was bad planning by uh, on my behalf. But yeah, it's done now. It took me uh, only about 5 minutes to fix, but but uh, yeah, it was still annoying nonetheless. But it's it's kind of done. It's kind of done. There are two more things I have to do. Um, the first is making a service port to it, which I'm going to make on one of the sides. I can't decide just yet. If I need wood, that's for sure, because I'm done with the infinite water source now. And we'll probably find another home for that shortly. But uh, in terms of service port, maybe here? Hmm. It's. Uh, here should be fine. Um, down one more, and there we are. We can get straight to it there. Um, I'll think of a better way of of um, controlling that. Obviously, we don't want that to be a, a permanent permanent thing. Um, I just remembered as well. That's not going to work. So I'm going to go down there two times instead of one. And I think my pickaxe just broke. Damn it, that pickaxe had seen me right for quite a while. Right, like this, and then boop, boop, and boop. Um, let's get the pickaxe out again. Let's make this look a little bit nicer. I'm, I'm so, I'm so uh, aesthetically annoying about things. I just have to make sure everything kind of is looks acceptable or it just it just drives me crazy um, there we go and then if we open up this we're gonna get wet but it's nothing too bad at least when oh we do we do thing but okay awesome so it's done it's done so what I need to do now is right click this I believe left click it hmm. when does the magic happen Um, have I done this right? I wish you I've done it right. Right click. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm not gonna lie, I panicked for a few seconds there. I'm gonna make myself some more copper cable too. Oh, well, let's let's grab the final piece. Fissile. Okay, and if we move our way into the reactor and right click, it will take our um, rod and let me just turn up the sounds a little bit because you won't be able to hear it that well. We can hear the boiling beginning and oh, maybe just a little bit too loud. That it will start turning. We can see it starting to turn, awesome, and that will start generating us power, which is awesome. You can actually see why I have the town sound turned down so much. Because of all the humming and stuff, it's just, it's just not very pleasant. Uh, I've got about one percent. I think I had it on. Yeah, I think it was like one percent. Um, okay, so I'm just trying to trying to push it to the limit a little bit, really. Because we are running out of resources, and I do just want to start getting things done now. I'm just so ready to to start really getting into the mod packs, and now we have our power source. We can kind of can kind of begin what we need to do. So yeah, guys, that's that's it really um, for, to, for this episode. It's kind of taken me a little bit longer than I thought it would, just because of certain things, and then another thing had happened, and another thing, and then we'd be missing this, or we'd be missing that. But it seems like we're done now. We've got the um, the reactor working, and Volts is making a comeback. We are making a comeback, and um, 
yeah and now we can really get into it we can really get into the mod pack now so thanks for watching guys remember to like favorite comment subscribe all your social media as well we have facebook and twitter and that's the best place to get updates about the vault series and the other series that may be going on and the best way to get in contact with me as well so thanks for watching guys and see you soon